Greetings, my brothers and sisters. Peace be with you. Today, my topic is fears and doubts. Yes, fear and doubts are the earthly things, the physical things which every human person experience in their lives at different point in time. But how well we overcome that fear, rise above that doubt, can we navigate in this life journey doing what the Lord wants us to do rather than what we want to do at these times. Today, let, let us look at scriptures and see how the word of God, which is alive and active, strengthens us. We need to trust him. If we have to overcome the fear and the doubt, we got to trust him wholeheartedly with our mind, body and soul. How we will do it? We look at the scriptures. Now, when, when you look at Mark chapter 11, verse 23, Jesus tells us, the, the words of Jesus, Truly I tell you, if anyone says to this mountain, remove from here and go fall in the sea, the, throw into the sea, the mountain will just go and get immersed in the sea. See, that is the power God has blessed us with. But we do not realize that power. It is a process because of our human frailty and our attractions to this visible world. We are not getting any closer to that. And Jesus says, even if we have the faith of a mustard seed, we can tell to this mulberry tree, uproot yourself and throw into the sea and this tree will obey. Now let's take, we have 9 billion people around the globe. No one has that faith because of our human weakness. But God will definitely give us the grace and strengthen us if we immerse ourselves in the word of God. When he says that we cannot put the Lord to test. Just for our human glory, we can't put our Lord to test. That's what Jesus himself taught us during his time in the desert when he was fasting and praying for 40 days and nights when the devil came and told him, change these stones to bread and fill your hunger, he said. Man doesn't live on bread alone, but in every word that comes from out of God. So to live in this world, to overcome fear and doubt, we have to go to the word of God. Now, Isaiah chapter 41, verse 10. Do not fear, for I am with you. I will strengthen and help you. So when we have the great I am, the creator God who tells Moses, I am who I am. Exodus 3 and verse 1. So when the great God is with us, why should we have that fear or doubt? Let us overcome all the challenges in our heart by clinging on to this word of God. For he is with us. For the great I am is with us. Therefore, we will conquer. But we will not put that to test. Because God has said that. We should not call, take the name of God in vain, nor put our God to test. And look at Proverbs chapter 3, verse 5. Trust in the Lord with all your heart and do not lean on your own understanding. Because of our human wisdom, human intellect. We have our own understanding. We are not going to accept what the scripture says. And that's what is given in the Proverbs. Do not rely on your wisdom. Do not rely on your human understanding. Because human wisdom is not even equivalent to God's foolishness. When you look at Jeremiah chapter 29, verse 11 to 13. For I know the plans I have for you. Because God created us. 
right from the time when that sperm and egg in our mother's womb formed its single cell, God has given that cell all the intelligence or all what you have to understand. So he knows the plan. He, is, he knows he can see our plan right from the time to our final breath. He knows everything. At one point he can see everything. So we surrender to him. Yes, we have to use our human understanding to decide and to plan, etc. But after we have done, we have done our human understanding, we need to offer it to our Creator God for His directions, how that plan will be implemented. Now, when you look at 2 Timothy chapter 1, verse 7, For God gave us a spirit of power and love and not of fear. So when Paul tells Timothy, do not be afraid. He has given us the spirit of power and truth. So we need to seek him, get immersed in the, in the, in the word of God. And then we can overcome all the fears and doubts. John chapter 14 verse 1 to 4. Jesus tells his apostles and also tells us, Believe in me, also believe in the creator God. Because God the Father and Jesus his only son are two distinct persons. And the, whole, the love between them is the Holy Spirit. So they are all three distinct persons in one God. So that's what Jesus tells them. His apostles, I will go and make a place for you. My father's house has many rooms and I will wait for you. And that's the reason he went up during his ascension and gave us the Holy Spirit who is with us. Because of him, we are able to talk now. Because of the Holy Spirit, I'm conveying the scriptures to you. Because of the Holy Spirit, you are watching this video. Because of the Holy Spirit, you are understanding how we can overcome fear and doubt. When you look at Luke chapter 11 verse 9 to 10, Ask and it will be given. Knock and the door will be opened. Search and you will find it. That is the strength we have, my brothers and sisters, in the scriptures. The word of God is active and alive. It strengthens us. It is the gift of spirit and power. God's spirit within us becomes alive when we immerse in the scriptures. When you look at Psalm chapter 50 verse 15, Call upon me on the day of trouble. I will deliver you and you shall glorify me. So whenever we are in a situation of doubt, whenever we are in a situation of fear, a disappointment, discouragement, disaster, we need to call upon the Lord, call upon our God with total trust and we can, he will come and he will guide us, he will protect us. John chapter 14 verse 27, peace I give to you, do not be led astray, not like the world what gives you the peace, my peace is different, my peace is the love of God the fellowship of the Holy Spirit will be with us. So when we have the fellowship of the Holy Spirit, why should we be afraid? Now in Joshua chapter 1 verse 9, Have I not commanded you? The Lord will go with us wherever we go. So we should not be worried about anything. The Lord has given His word that he will go with us anywhere and everywhere. And that's how Joshua in the Old Testament conquered everything which came in his way. Matthew chapter 6 verse 34. Do not worry because you have been carved in his hands. He made us in the image and likeness of God unlike the other birds and animals. But if you look at the birds, then the colorful birds with their feathers, even Solomon in his richness did not have clothing of that kind. When God provides for the birds so much, will he not know that the human person who is created in his own image needs and wants? Eh, but we need to surrender to him. When we surrender our needs and wants to him, he will give us. And he says, do not worry. When a small flower which is gone today, which is here today and gone tomorrow, 
how much more will he care for us when we have that long span of 100 years or 50 years or 60 years, 70 years, whatever time period is definitely greater than a day. When you look at Romans chapter 8, verse 38 and 39, Paul writes to the Romans, I am very convinced that neither death nor any angels nor spirits nor false prophets can come and overtake me or come and give me their data or their give their information that the wealth of the world and the pride of life etc can separate us from the love of God because God has become one with us when we have a communion when we have the Eucharistic meal with him his body and blood we become one with him he consumes us and we are with him these hands and feet are his so we do not have to worry about any force any evil force because God is with us Jude chapter 1 verse 22 Be merciful to all those who doubt We need to encourage our brothers and sisters who are going through this fear and doubt telling them that God the great I am is with us He has given us the spirit of power and truth and we need to give it to them encourage them and pray for them fast for them so that they overcome the fears and doubt now Psalm 27, 1, the greatest psalm, which when it comes to fear and doubt, the Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? When the Lord is your light, he is everything. Light is everything. When he is our light, why should we fear anyone? So we need to depend on the word of God and be happy with what he has given us and surrender all our plans I want to do this, I want to do that, everything to him. Lord, this is my plan. This is what I am planning to do. You, I put it at your feet. You tell me whether it is on, it's according to your will or not. I don't want to fulfill my own will. I am surrendering my free will to you. It is your will I want to accomplish in this short life. We don't know when, where and how. But God knows exactly what we have to do. Now is the time. When we are all doing good, when we have life and we can talk, all our five senses are alive and active. This is the time we have to go and immerse in the scriptures and start surrendering our free will to him and to seek God's will for us to accomplish before we finish this journey on earth. Thank you, my brothers and sisters. I hope you like this session. I look forward to hear your comments. Bye now.